the Secretary outlined a clear and compelling vision for a better future for the Iranian people. This future can only be realized, though, if Iran meets 12 demands to become a normal country. Normal countries don't terrorize other nations, proliferate missile, missiles, and impoverish their own people. A key part of our strategy is a campaign of maximum economic and diplomatic pressure. The first part of our sanctions will snap back on August 4th. These sanctions will include targeting Iran's automotive sector, trade in gold, and other key metals. Our remaining sanctions will snap back on November 6. These sanctions will include targeting Iran's energy sector and petroleum-related transactions and transactions with the Central Bank of Iran. Many countries around the world share our interests in countering terrorism, halting the proliferation of missiles, and promoting peace and stability in the Middle East. We want to work with these countries to build a strong global effort. More than 50 international firms have already announced their intent to leave the Iranian market, particularly in the energy and financial sectors. We have been clear with countries and companies around the world that we are bringing severe economic pressure on Iran until the regime changes its destabilizing policies.